All right, guys. So um, currently, I'm here on this particular website. Okay, we say October has always been green, as you can see from past history, right? We have 2019. October was up by 10 percent. Okay, um, sometime in 2021, October was up by 27 percent. Uh, sorry, in 2020, October was up by 27 percent. In 2021, October was up by 39 percent. And then in 2022, up by 5 percent. 2023, up by 28 percent. And we are already half of this month. Okay, we are already half of this month, and we are already up by you know six percent plus. So let's see if this actually this could actually happen, right? That the remaining half of this month uh, could actually take this maybe to a ten percent, to a twenty percent, to a thirty percent, or even to a fifty percent. Okay, and this will run towards the remaining days or the remaining weeks of this fourth quarter or this last quarter of the year okay heading into november and all of that all right and the statistics for the u.s election is equally showing uh that trump could be the winner and if that happened guys i've said this time with that number get ready okay get ready don't say that you don't know about this all right uh, don't say it's too late yet to get into crypto okay don't be ever think of that like that all right because you can actually start making a whole lot of money going forward so don't do yourself, guys, okay? Jump on the train right now. And believe me, you can start making, you know, money for yourself. So I am very optimistic about October that this could actually go, end up maybe with a 20%, um, um, you know, a plus a 20% or thereabout and all of that. And if that happened, it means that BTC could actually be hitting above 70K and the rest, okay? Uh, currently, BTC is the one that is, you know, still performing. But for SUI that I shared, let me even start with this one. SUI that I shared this morning, I'm still holding on to that. Remember, all my trades, I always use the Bible scale order, okay? In all my trades, I always use the Bible scale order. And the scale order is the one that has given me that PNL that I actually shared with you guys this evening. So as it is right now, even while we are trading at the entry, okay, that's the entry I gave you, right? Even while we are trading at that entry level, guys, I'm still up by 50, 60 percent profit. I think 50 percent right now in profit. Okay, so that's the power of the scale order. That's how beautiful the scale order can be. And the scale order too can actually, um, will I say, enjoy you, okay, or take you on aware if you are the type that trades without stop losses. You don't measure your trades before entry. You know, you just slide and you enter, you slide and you're out, okay? So, but that's basically it, okay? That's basically it for SUI. And I told you guys to buy Doge, okay? Why I was out, I told you to start buying Doge. Uh, let's look at it this evening and look at, you know, the best areas that, look at that, guys. Okay, so today alone, Doge started flying. This was the demonstration I showed you guys the other day. All right. So this is what I started talking about Doge when we were about breaking out. Okay. So we broke out of this level, this trend line here. We went up to around 12 cents and then we came back. Okay. This would have been a retest. Okay. If you have been following Doge, if you have been paying attention to Doge, you would have seen that this is that breakout and a retest. And here you would have started preparing yourself just like you see this setup that I have here. Right. Okay. And this actually smashed that full TP once we triggered there before it, after it came it, it came down okay to stop loss before going up there and all of that but right now you can start looking for new entries for douche all right i doubt if douche will be able to come down to 10 cent again but basically what i'm doing okay what i'm doing um if i go ahead and measure let's say i measure this thing right from here Take it up there. You see that Doge is up already, okay, right from this area here where we came bounce from that, you know, golden level that Doge has been up by 21% already, okay? So I'm just trailing this market. Well, I'm just, you know, my setup is uh, just from this daily open, okay, um, right at this daily low, okay, to wherever this is going to, you know, end up which is around 10%. That's where I had my stop, my entries, okay? I've already entered Doge with market order, right? So if I go to like the 15 minutes time frame, all right, this is what Dogecoin is currently doing right now. We had that push up there, and then now we are consolidating. So basically, um, this could break out of this flag and then it start going up, okay? So that's basically what I'm looking at for. So I'm buying Doge right from here, 
which is where my entry is okay you can do market order and all of that and i'm buying those down to this level right here okay i think i did stop loss 10 percent actually yeah so down to that level right there okay so my entry my first entry would be here using the scale order okay i actually started buying at 0 0.126 all right so my entry will be from here and then my last entry will be somewhere around that 0 0.114 1145 actually that's where my entries are okay and this is going to be a swing trade for me guys so if it comes back down here and all of that i'm going to enter all of those trades and i'm targeting at least 20 cent going forward okay i'm targeting 20 cent and above for dogecoin all right i'm targeting 20 cent and above for douche so keep an eye on this thing all right so once we break out of this resistance rail i know that we could actually be heading over to 18 and then eventually talk about 20 cent and above okay so that's what i'm looking at all right i'll gradually keep buying douche coin right here okay i'll gradually be keep buying douche coin right here with my stop loss just around that area that's what i'm looking at for douche coin so keep an eye on that stuff right Keep an eye on that stuff and then the likes of other meme coins too that have been doing well today we have dope one okay we have um ark which is equally the one i equally jumped into i shared this with you guys um ark us i told you that um ark was yeah at the verge of breaking out okay yeah i drew this line here and eventually we broke out of that area okay so when I, I noticed that I just decided to jump in with market order, and this is the setup I gave you guys this morning. Okay, so I jumped in with market order and eventually ARK did broke out. Okay, it did broke out. So I'll be holding, though I've closed out of my position, I'll be holding the remaining of ARK with the hope that ARK can actually get to 80 cent or even eventually get to a dollar. All right, eventually get to a dollar and all of that. But let's see how it goes if eventually this thing comes back down then you can you know start looking for new entries all right but by tomorrow i should be able to see um what is happening in the market and i'll be able to give you a new setup on ARK. okay so just keep an eye on this thing keep an eye on this um, chart all right um hopefully once my my chart okay the next day for trading view for me is around 1 a.m so if I'm awake by then and all of that, I will look at this thing and I give you a new setup. But just believe me, whatever setup I'm giving you is a long setup, okay? It's a long setup. So a, a, um, a RK is one of those trades that actually favored me today. So keep an eye on that stuff, right? Keep an eye on that stuff. Doge is still up there. Um, let's look at some other coins too that are here. Okay, we have Doge. And then this, Ma, is it Man Maneki or whatever this name is? I'm not really look at that i've been seeing it the gas is pumping okay some of this chinese token all right gas is one of those chinese related tokens um i think i have a list of chinese token too that i'm equally looking at buying as well bitcoin cash is waking up okay bitcoin cash is waking up let's see what we have on bitcoin cash so bch usdt so let's see what we have there um yeah guys look at that okay look at bitcoin cash right yeah so bitcoin cash is um you know uh bitcoin cash is waking up and um we just have to be looking for trees from here to the upside okay uh, currently i can say that bitcoin is um bitcoin cash is facing a resistance at that 2370 level okay facing a resistance at that 370 level so definitely we'll be looking for buys from here to the upside right um yeah so buys from here to the upside that's basically what i'll be looking at for so bitcoin cash my eyes are on you okay so let's see what we can achieve we can do um maybe a 10 percent stop loss or so use the scale order for this as well uh, but i'm sure this one will not trigger all your trades okay bitcoin cash even if you do scale order on this um all your trades may not be able to trigger uh, but even if it is a first trade that triggers we should be buying bitcoin cash and then targeting that level of four, five hundred, six hundred dollars and above. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin Cash. I hope that this spike and that we can get up to seven hundred dollars and all of that early this year, right? Sometime in uh April, we did get to that seven hundred dollars level. And um it is now at a good buy level. Okay. Bitcoin cash is now at a good buy level. So buy 
and then target that level of $700 going forward, okay? Buy and target that level of $700 going forward, okay? So let me see if I can get another token. SUI, okay, that's the one I started with. Um, which other one again am I supposed to look at? Shiba Inu, yes, I will equally be looking at Shiba Inu. And I shared cover, right? I shared um, cover trade this morning. Let's look at cover USDT. Cover USDT. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is the setup I gave you guys, but cover didn't really, uh, it was close, but it was not at the entry. So the entry, didn't, this did not trigger, right? Cover did not trigger and then it started rejecting up there, right? So cover didn't trigger. It came down here, but it, it never triggered. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, my orders are still pending, right? My orders for cover are still pending. Let's see what happened. I could actually change that maybe uh, by tomorrow to start looking for new entries, okay? I could actually change that for, by tomorrow to start looking, you know, for new entry going forward, all right? If there is any token that you want me to look at and all of that, please let me know. Um, if there are questions, contributions, and all of that, AKT2. All right, I see AKT2 is doing great. Um, so let me quickly look at AKT USDT. All right, AKT USDT. Um, AKT, AKT, AKT. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so AKT is, you know, equally uh, good for, you know, taking a trade to the offside. All right. AKT, I think AKT is related, um, AI related project, right? It's AI related project. So keep an eye on this thing. All right. Keep an eye on this thing. I'll keep uh, paying attention to this and then I'll be sharing some setups, um, for this particular token too. Let me see. That's 6%. If you go down to that area, that's 8%. I think I could actually do scale order for this thing, right? Yeah. I could actually do scale order for AKT, guys. I could do scale order for AKT um, with the hope that we continue, we break out of this level and then we pump just like we did with ARK, all right? Just like we did with ARK. I'm basically looking, hoping that I get a breakout, okay? For AKT from here to the offside, all right? So sorry. Um, let's say we look at that area right there, okay? We'll target that up high there. Right, nowhere around that three dollars level. Then we can do stop loss down there, guys. We can do ten percent stop loss, okay, for AKT. And then my first entry will be this level here at that two point five eight eight dollars. And then my last entry, I can leave it at that Fibonacci tool there, that golden level there, which is around that two point four dollars level. That's basically what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to set a limit order for AKT, and then let's see. At the stones at all right let me see yes i'm going to set a limit order for akt and then i want to see how that plays out all right i want to see how that plays out so keep an eye on this thing and um i hope that will break out hopefully before tomorrow but if that doesn't happen if it keeps dropping okay down to that golden level of 2.4 i'm going to be buying akt so let me just quickly set a limit order for this right now so that i don't forget okay yeah, let me set the limit order for this so that I don't forget. Now, if you have questions, you have contributions. For those of you who are new to the community, okay, you are most welcome. Um, the Bybit um, competition to get, um, the Bybit WSOT competition is still ongoing. You could actually stand the chance to share this $10 million uh, that Bybit is giving out. All you just need to do is to join my squad. I'll post a link after now on the platform and, um, you know, do 50000 in trading volume and you're good to go. Okay, do 50,000 in trading volume and you are good to go. And um, the, the, the reward, okay, there is equally a campaign to claim $500 position airdrop. All right, please take advantage of that. Okay, I, there's a lady that chatted me uh, that says that uh, the last one she claimed, okay, she actually um, turned the position airdrop that Bybit gave her to two, she made $250 out of it. All right, maybe I'll screenshot the message she sent to me and sent to you guys. So some of you are not really serious with some of these things, okay? Some of you are not really serious with some of these things. So it's, it's very simple. If you have a Bible account already uh, that's not registered with my link, all you just need to do is to use the campaign link, create a new Bible account, do a KYC transfer, make a deposit from either Bybit P2P marketplace or from a different crypto wallet 
and you stand a chance to claim the airdrop. Okay, so basically what it means is that when you claim the airdrop, all you just need to do is to actually leave your money where it is. You can use it to buy on the spot market and keep and all of that. Then you can use the position airdrop that Bybit is giving to you. Okay, you can use the position airdrop to trade. If you eventually turn the money to 500, to 10, uh, 1,200, 100, whatever you turn it to, okay, you can keep 100% of that money to yourself. All right, you can keep 100% of that money to yourself. So take advantage of that and don't miss that opportunity. All right, yeah, I can see a lot of hands up. So if you are, you have questions, okay, um, contributions and all of that, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and ask your questions and make your contributions. Okay, yeah, why that is going on, let me quickly set a limit order for AKT and um, see what happens. So I'm doing uh, with the current market price, the difference is not much, we have 2.6 current market price and my entry is around that 2.588. Okay, let me use the entry. Okay, let me use the entry for that. And um, you know, my entry using the scale order, guys, just learn this thing, okay? In most cases, when I send this, I don't send you the range, the entry range. So you just have to, you know, be smart, use your head to do all of this calculation yourself, okay? So my entry will start from that 2.55, okay? So for AKT, let me go ahead and select the coin, AKT USDT, all right? So we do 2.5. 588, that's our first entry. And then I say my last entry will be around that 2.4, okay? And then stop loss will be around that 2.3, okay? So 2.4 will do to 2. Okay, 4, all right? So let's see how that goes. And then I'll go ahead, how many do I want to buy? Let me buy 150 of the AKT token. Mm, let me do 100, okay? Uh, I'll do 25x leverage. That's the highest leverage I can go on AKT. Okay. We'll do 25x leverage. And let's see if we buy 125, how much would that cost us? Uh, we can do 150 as I intended to. Okay. With, um, yeah. So that's basically what I'm going to do. And then I'll go ahead and click on the buy long option. All right. So I'll go to my first order now. No one triggered because it's a limit order. Okay, so I'll go to my first order, which is around that 2.588. Click on modify, go to TP and SL. All right, for TP, we can say let's target four or $5. Okay, you can leave TP open, whatever it is, all right, um, and all of that. Then I can go to... I can go to the stop loss. That's the one that is more important to me, all right? So stop loss, um, we can do stop loss. Well, we'll have a 2.35, okay? So we can do stop loss. That's the most important thing there. So 2.325, uh, all right? That's the stop loss. Okay, when you put the stop loss, it should be big, all right? But don't worry, once these five orders triggers, I use five, okay, the scale order that I'm using is five orders. Once the five orders triggers, uh, that stop loss we can reduce to, you know, a very little percentage, okay? Uh, because the average entry price, if I enter this trade right now, okay, at the end of the day, my average entry will be around 2.45, okay? Um, 2.45 and the rest, so my 2.45 will be around this area, okay? So if I bring this thing down to, let's say 2.45, okay? So it means that stop loss will just be um, will just be around 5%, okay? Stop loss will just be around 5% and all of that. That's basically what I'm looking at. So take advantage of this. Um, if you can, set a limit order for that. If you want me to share it on the platform, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. But if you can see it clearly, why not, all right? Yeah, it's time for questions. It's time for contributions. Go ahead, guys. Uh, what are your questions? What are your contributions? What are the tokens you want me to look at? Just let me know and I'll go ahead and look at that for you All right, right now, right now, right now. Okay, make some money for yourself. Um, I think uh, dope, let me see if we can enter dope, all right? Okay, yeah, let me quickly send this to the WhatsApp, to Telegram, rather. Let me quickly send Hello, sir. This. Hello, sir. Good evening. Hello, sir. Um, Good evening, good evening. I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Uh, please, uh, I'm seeing a yellow a yellow line, double yellow line. Please, 
I I don't really understand. Please, what is he? Is it the support line? Yes, it's a support line. Okay, you can see I drew that to you know where my support for AKT is, uh, and then and all of that. I actually did this, I think, on the weekly or daily time frame. When AKT was still trading around this level, I didn't want it to go, but we swinged lower. Okay, we went up there, swing lower again, and then went up there. So those are the lines you're looking at. And then I have another one down here. So those are all support levels that I've been looking at. Okay. Well, but eventually we are bouncing on there. Boss, about the okay. um, KYC transfer, I just did that right now. But I have money inside my old account. So I think I so I want to transfer the money to the new to the new Bybit that I just created. So they don't allow me to do that. They said I have to wait. Yes, they won't, they, won't allow, they won't allow you to do that. Uh, they sent you an email, right? They send you an email. You can reply to that email. And then after 24 hours, you can withdraw your money. Okay. Oh. So you can use, yeah, you can use the, the, you can use the, you know, buy bit to buy bit transfer option so that you don't need to pay fee. After 24 okay. hours, you can withdraw your money. So, so uh, if, for instance, you did the KYC now. I just, I did that. I did it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tomorrow, so, uh, by this time, you can withdraw the money back to so, buy to this new buy bit account. So I, so I can't, so buy bit to buy bit um, from that account, I, can, I cannot transfer any money. There's no money I, I can use to trade right now. That's what I need. <laughs> chill now, chill, chill, chill. Oh, uh, sure. Chill. But if you can, even the P2P, right? Even P2P right now, you can't do, right? Even P2P on the new account, you can't do till after 24 hours. Except you want to deposit from another crypto wallet. And that will give you a chance to actually um, qualify for the 500. Um, if you deposit up to $100 or more, you can actually qualify to get 500. So uh, I can't I can transfer, I can't do from the old account. There's no means I can't do that. If you do from the old account, you will not qualify for the benefit, okay? But you can actually get that benefit before that tomorrow where you do the, the transfer. All right, but oh. the thing is, right now, from that old account, you cannot transfer till after 24 hours. It's for security measures, so that why we want to be sure that it is not another person that is doing this stuff on your behalf. Okay, so can I trade on it? Can I trade on my old account? Can I see trade? Um, you can try that. I'm not sure, but you can try it. Uh, try it. I think without the KYC. Try that. If it doesn't work, it means you cannot trade on. But you can trade on the new account. Because because when you said you have to cancel a trade that is on it, that's why why even some is on seven like the trade signal you dropped today. The I was on it. The you know, so I have to cancel it with a shortage of eight dollars so that I can do the KYC. The just me. Uh, for... Shortage of eight dollars. Yes. It means which of the trade is that? Which of the things like that? It means that mine, the trade was going mine. against you. Just mine. Just mine. Okay. Okay. You didn't secure profit when it went up by over 15%? Yes, yes I, I did. Okay. Uh, uh, that, that's, that's another thing, right? Guys, you know, when we give you this setup, some of you are always waiting for full TP. I've said this thing time with that number. All right. If I use like a 25x leverage, 50x leverage, 70x leverage, whatever trade that I'm entering, okay, whatever trade that I'm entering, once it goes in my favor, and I see anyway, it depends on the margin you are using, okay. Uh, it depends on what you use as your margin. Once I see profit, let's say I get five dollars from that, immediately I'm closing half of my position, okay, and then I move stop loss. That's the same thing that has happening with that that's been happening with Stosh, right? I share the storage. I told you that that was my storage. Is this person? That was my third entry today on storage. Okay. So each time it goes, look at that, right? Each time it, okay, this is a setup. Let me go to the 15 minutes so that you see clearly what I was saying. All right. So each time storage goes from the entry here, okay, it has even come back again to the entry level. All right. Stosh will trigger, go up, okay, come back down. So each time it goes, or the first time it went up, I decided to close half of my position, move stop loss to entry. It came well, back, took me out of that entry. 
if uh, if the trainer count on your entry price, go. It rain now. Listen now. Listen to what I'm explaining. I've entered this trade like three times now, and it has been in profit. <laughs> it will trigger here, go up. Once it goes up from here to up there, because I was using 25x leverage, it was already up by 60% plus or thereabout. I closed half of that position, and then I moved stop loss to entry. Okay, I moved stop loss. Just imagine that I was waiting for full TP for this thing, right? How long will it take you for this to hit full TP? It can take days or even weeks for this thing to happen, right? So the first one, I moved stop loss to entry, and then it came to hit that stop loss, all right? That one too closed. It was still in profit, right? Maybe I would have made $2, $3 or out of that. Then I entered another trade, which went up. Okay. I saw that it was up by 20%. I decided to close half position, okay? Ah. And then move stop loss to entry, Whoa. all right? My and then the time. last one just triggered this evening, the last one. Just regarding the one that I shared that was 12% or so. Now it's back to that entering level again. All right. So when it goes up again, maybe by 20, 30% or so, I'll close the entry again. And then I'll do that. I'll continue to hold until eventually this team breaks this area where it's consolidating and start moving up. Or eventually it comes and hit my full stop loss here. And then I will no longer enter the trade again. It's as simple as that. But some of you will see a trade will give you 100%. You are still hoping that it will hit full TP. From that 100%, you see the trade will come down and come down and still take everything, all the profit it has given you, well, and still start well, eating your money, and you're still holding. Some of you will go and start adjusting stop loss. All right? It doesn't well, make any sense that way. Right. So well, always yeah, learn to move on. stop. Hold on, boss. You know, from the stop loss that you did now, if the trade now move, move down to your stop loss, oh. I'm out of the trade. Then I'll be looking for new entry. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's yes, I'm that out of did. that trade. I'm looking... Yeah, because you can see this this massive move here, okay? This massive move here has created a lot of imbalance around here, okay? But because I'm somewhat bullish on this token that it just broke out, okay? I'm somewhat bullish on this token that it just broke out. I'm hopeful that this will continue to push up, all right? I'm hopeful that this will continue to push up, but today's candle has been reluctant. It doesn't want to, uh, to go up. So if anything happens, you see my stop loss is very small. If it hits my stop loss, I'm out of that trade. I'm waiting for this thing to come back, okay? Uh, let's say I drew my equilibrium um, level for yesterday's candle, all right? If I bring my Fibonacci to and I take today, yesterday's low, okay, to yesterday's high, and then I'll go ahead and change this to my, you know, PDR rate um, stuff, all right? So let's say I take this again uh, from today's low there, all right? Basically, if you hit my stop loss, the next thing is this 50% level that I'm looking to buy, okay, to buy from. Or if it goes below there, remember this thing right now from what you can see here, okay, from this Fibonacci 2, everything up here is at a premium price, right? Premium price, that's where we are, all right? So I know what I'm doing here, which is why I've been entering and out, entering and out and all of that. Then where you'll be buying, okay, will be at this discount level, which is, you know, coming to close this imbalance it has created here before it starts moving up, right? That is if eventually it comes back down there anytime soon. But for as long as it does not hit my stop loss, I'm still holding on to this trade, okay? I have the next one that has triggered. Stop loss is already at that entry, and I want to see how tomorrow's candle plays out. But if it continues to go down, then I set stop loss, then I'll start looking for new entries, all right? That is That's me. basically how that works. That is a mistake I did on BTC today. I've already made like, a lot of money so i now move the stop loss <laughs> so i move it down so if i now will have closed the trace so the thing just bounce <laughs> they just hit all my wait, money <laughs> wait you you made profit instead of moving stop loss further you were now reducing the stop loss <laughs> like no like the trade now is going down so i enter the trade on um, short i shot the trade from 68.5 so you now move down to with 20, 20 X. So the trade now moved down to 28. No, let me. It now moved down to 28, maybe 28, 7. That's 68, 700 or so. Yes, yes, or 68 something. Like so I've seen like $200. So I'm hmm. thinking that it's still coming down. That it's still coming ah, down. Ah, bro, you get me. Ah, not greedy, not greediness, not greediness. Not <laughs> uh, seriously, ba. Serious, you have seen three hundred doors 
or 200 doors. You close half of the position and I immediately, ASAP, all right, you move stop loss to entry or to whatever level. Have a, I told you, yeah. when you chatted me this morning, I told you that. Stop, <laughs> you know, if you are doing anything short, you should be scrapping, but I'm more bullish on BTC, right? I'm more but bullish on BTC. Anyway, those, you've learned uh, your lesson, right? If you don't learn from that trade, I wonder where you will learn. Okay, that's the biggest <laughs> teacher for you now. I it's not for ah, me like that, that's what you, you cannot pay money to learn. <laughs> ah, ah. So, so two hundred dollars is my weekly M. Two hundred dollars is my weekly M. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, ah, three M. Kind of, which kind of mistake is this? I don't understand. I is two hundred dollars three M. Like I say, two hundred dollars is my weekly. Is my weekly M. <laughs> like <laughs> weekly. Okay, 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 okay. I thought you said it's Like the trade was in okay. stage five. That is when I placed the short. It now well, moved down. Some, some five. It moved down to sixty-seven five. <laughs> ah, I was like, now it's not going up. I'm not looking for another position to enter again. <laughs> I, 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 you blew your account like that. You blew your account. Try to. Hold your no, no, emotions. Yeah, right just there. just take it easy, okay. Take it a step after another. You, you know, if I were you, oh. that two hundred, okay, was even enough enough for me today. <laughs> I just <laughs> close the trade. Close, you know? close, just close your system. And chill, go just go and sleep. Go, go, go. Ah, go to one chicken in public. <laughs> you swear your brain will be ah. well, oh, no, no fuck up, no fuck, like, no fuck my hand, no fuck my hand. Um, like ah. yesterday now, when the trade was on sixty. 60, 60, what is this? Uh, when it moved to 67.5, I placed it again that it's coming down on short. So it now moved down. Okay, to... yeah, yeah. You can, you know, the thing, the thing is, that if, if it is in terms of yeah. your analysis and prediction, right, you are always right. But now what you have to deal with is managing your emotions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What uh, you have to deal with right now is managing your emotions. Stop uh, thinking that one trade will give you a thousand dollars immediately. <laughs> and most especially when you are going against the trend, okay? And all of that. All right. So BTC is currently above this level of 66 um, K, which is what I was looking at, right? And um, if you look at this, all right, if you look at this thing, this pattern has repeated itself. It, I think it happened in 2021, it happened in 2022, even 2023. I will play a video for you guys to see this thing, all right? Oh, no so, uh, uh, basically, know. yeah, basically, I'm waiting that BTC will close above this sixty, this sixty-eight thousand level, okay, and then we'll continue to go up maybe to seventy k and all of that. So, uh, be I'm a bit bullish on BTC. So, anything you're doing, if you go to the fifteen minutes time frame and all of that, definitely you'll see that BTC has been going up and down. So. Look at this from here from 65, we went up to 68, and then from that 68, we dropped down to 64. Then from 60, so this up and down here, you can make money from it, okay, on the lower time frame. This up and down here, you can make money from it and all of that. But even at that, right, even at that, be making sure that you're scrapping and uh, taking profit as much as you can, okay, you're scrapping and taking profit as much as you can, yeah. <laughs> but but the, my old account is still showing is still showing ah. complete verification of deposit and then you phone. Yes, that's what I'm saying now. The verification has been transferred already. So leave the old account alone. Just make sure you wait. In fact, go and rest, okay? It's time for you to go and think. Don't don't start don't I know you want to retaliate now to make that money you've lost. You want to retaliate and make back that money you lost. Please manage your emotions. Manage your emotions. Go and rest. Go and rest. Tomorrow you transfer your money back. Once you transfer your money yeah. back tomorrow, you can start trading. Okay? Hello, boss. Good evening, sir. On the new account. Say again. Uh -uh. Can it work? My yoga. Uh, P2P on the new account cannot work until 24 hours. Try it now. Just try it and let me know. Whatever it is, just send me a chat. I will see how I can be able to help out on that, okay? Just try that. If it doesn't work, you let me know. Okay. Hello, mm. boss. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. They hear me. 
I think uh, this thank you for everything you have been doing for us, bro. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, too. Yes, yeah, so I want to ask for those of us that are holding back. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what's up. What, what, what are we looking at for those of us that are looking back, holding back, sir? Holding back what? Holding back of some odd, of, of some odds for the bull run, sir. Sorry, I didn't get you clear. I said those of us are holding back. Okay, I'm holding run. back some bull run. We are not. We don't know what's happening. What, what are they talking about? <laughs> we anyway, the bags you are holding depends on the token you are holding. You know. hold on, hold on. Okay, I want to talk about Buron, Buron. If you, if you, if you understand what is happening in the market right now, okay, you see that the market is favoring selected meme coins right now. Okay, yeah. selected okay. meme coins. This Buron, this Tamaran is going to be uh, different from that of 2021, for instance, where you have those OGs, okay, uh, pumping yeah. any, any, and the rest, okay. Uh, I don't know the bags you are holding, all right? I don't know the bags you are holding. There is every probability that some of those coins you are holding will not favor you in the bull run, okay? Hmm. There is every ah. possibility that that will happen, all right? But okay. I am <laughs> sure that the likes of those coins that is still the chief priest of all meme coins, okay? The Ogakpata of them, or if I come in here to coin market cap, you see... Where is Doge? Okay, Doge is still number eight, okay, with over 16 billion, right? Market cap and the rest. Okay, Doge is still number eight. In fact, Doge is still the meme coin that is stopping, all right, on the list here, right? Doge is still the meme coin that is stopping. I think Shiba Inu that was dragging with it has gone far, 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 far below, all right? Yeah. Doge is still the meme coin that is stopping on the top 10 on coin market cap. So with what Elon Musk is doing, I don't, I don't know any of you who have seen that, that, what did they call it? Department of uh, whatever that has been spreading, yeah. okay? Elon Musk posted that and then Trump equally reposted it. Okay? It means that this thing, which is why, yeah, which is why, which is why I say you should start buying, you should start buying Doge, right? You should start buying, we just looked at it now. So it means that Doge will eventually start moving. When it starts moving, so then something great will happen, okay? okay. If you check okay. now for past few weeks now, it has been narrow, it has been turbo, it has been one million uh, baby baby douche, all right? Okay. So these are some yeah. of the meme coins that have been moved. WIF2 has been pumping, okay? A whole lot of them. So if you are not holding any of these tokens, because if you have been holding these tokens, eventually your bag would have been doing very well, right? But if you are not holding any of these tokens, if you are holding those strange tokens, Right, I don't know. Okay, I can't really say, but just keep holding on to it. Once markets start moving, eventually those bags you are holding will start appreciating. And once you start appreciating, don't wait till eternity. Don't wait that oh, it will do hundred x before you sell. Start taking profit asap. Okay, start taking profit asap. If if possible, remove your capital and re leave the remaining one. All right, you can now wait for eternity for that one to do you to give you hundred or one thousand x. Right. It's as simple as that. That is, if you are holding a token that is not really trending, tokens like Doge, tokens like Tobo, okay? Uh, look at Reef. Reef, I don't know what happened. Did anybody know what happened to Reef? Reef is dying or has already died. <laughs> Reef is dying. Well, it has already died. <laughs> Gentlemen, just imagine that you forgot yourself. You bought Reef and you're waiting that Reef will get to $1 one day. And then eventually this thing happened. Feel, feel also. F I L. Feel. That one too. F I L U S D T. No, this one is, is this one is is um yeah this one. I don't know when I shared this trade. Okay, this one is not just a meme coin. I told you guys Chinese coins. Okay, this F I L or whatever it is actually a token that is um, into file. You know, I think they are solving one file um what's the name again let's i mean yeah file con okay uh is it has a use case they have a problem they are solving and it, i think it's chinese related coin so if you check um chinese coin have been pumping we have gas that i was that was moving up okay we have um i think i saw gas on the list here we have uh tokens like uh, flm okay we have token like cs c is it cfx okay Yes, CFX. Some of these are some of the Chinese tokens that have been moved. So file has its own, you know, it has a use case. 
Okay, it has a use case and you can see, uh, let me show you. Okay, file is a decentralized storage system, right? It is a, a decentralized storage um, system that aims to store humanity's most important information. The project raised how much again? Where is this thing? So this is just to give you an idea that this has a use case. Uh, where is the coin? Where is that stuff again? All right. So if you are holding file, right? I think the all-time high for this thing was around um, yeah, two hundred dollars. Okay, two hundred dollars plus. So if you are holding file, um, uh, uh, you should be able to keep holding if you believe in it, right? It's already down by over ninety-eight percent and all of that. So uh, eventually, I believe it will move. Okay, it will eventually start moving up, and once it start pumping, you'll be able to make some money from it. All right. Well, you know, uh, once you start pumping, you should be able. So it is. Maga coin. Do you know about that Trump coin? It's doing well. Maga. Yes, Maga coin. Hmm. Okay. This this same Maga coin that went up uh, how many percent and dumped immediately? No. Uh, same Maga coin. Or oh, am I wrong? Trump. Yes, yeah, it's Maga. Yes, now. Is it not the same Maga coin? Is it the Maga? Yes, now. Four months ago, the same coin that went up to $17. The same coin that went up, maybe, um, I don't think, if there's one coin like that, I don't know whether it's Maga or something. <laughs> I can't really say. Okay, I don't know whether it's Maga or, or so. Anyway, like this Maga, if you want to buy it, buy it, okay? There are certain I things that I, I don't know. I will check. I, I, will... I bought it with $500. So I don't have it from you. I have $200 in profit. Okay. I'll, I'll check more about this thing. We'll know how it goes, okay? We'll know how it goes. Like, um, I, have, I have a profit of $300. I bought it, at, at, I bought it with $500. So when I check it, I was on eight hundred dollar right now. Mm. 